If you're getting into or are already enjoying a lot of racing games, then the thought of a force feedback wheel may be an enticing one, but is it worth it? In this video, I'm going to run you through all the pros and cons of a wheel versus a controller in 4 minutes ish, and also throw out some personal opinions as I made this switch myself a couple of years ago. Also, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, but let's get on with the video. For me, the main difference between playing games on a wheel as opposed to a controller is the fun and immersion factor. Even playing arcade games such as The Crew 2 and Need for Speed Heat, but especially on stuff like GT Sport and Assetto Corsa, a wheel just makes the experience probably twice as good in terms of enjoyment, though that's just about as subjective as it gets. In terms of immersion, a wheel just makes any game feel more realistic, as it's so much closer to driving an actual car than just playing a game. Before making this video, I switched back to a controller, and the main thing I noticed was that I got bored much, much quicker. My lap times were also quite a bit slower, although only by a few seconds, and having not properly played racing games on a controller for about two years, I thought this was pretty good, although we'll get onto the competitive advantages now. So, whether you'll become a better driver purely by changing your equipment is something I hear quite often. Now I think the answer is more complex than a yes or a no, so let's dive into the details. On a controller, you only have a few centimetres of space to move the thumbsticks. Now while this is going to be 10 times better than using a keyboard and a mouse to steer, getting to the ultimate level of precision is going to be rather difficult, as there is very little between no input and full lock. On a wheel, however, you will likely have up to 1080 degrees of rotation to play with, allowing for much more accurate and precise inputs to be given. The story is similar when we look at pedals as well, as while triggers aren't too bad, it's much more difficult to be accurate and another big thing which is consistent. Now this sounds like a huge win for the wheel, and while yes it probably is, controller players can still very easily be just as fast as probably 90% of wheel users. This will, however, change depending on the game, as if you're trying to play a hardcore sim like Assetto Corsa or R Factor 2, well, for a start, some of these games won't support controllers, and let's face it, these simulators were made to be played on a wheel, so anyone using a controller is going to have a pretty tough time keeping up to those with the intended equipment. If, however, you play games such as The Crew 2 and Forza Horizon, then using a wheel is likely to give you little to no competitive advantage if that's what you're looking for. Simcade games, however, such as GT Sport, the Formula 1 games and Forza Motorsport are where you might start to see a bit of an advantage, but only really if you're playing at the higher-ish level of these games. Another huge difference is the price. A solid entry-level wheel such as the Logitech G29 or G920 will set you back around £200 or $250, and while cheaper options are available, this is ideally where you'd want to be starting out. This can be quite off-putting, although in my opinion it is completely worth it if you're into racing games. Most decent wheels will have some sort of force feedback, which is a motor applying very specific pressure onto the wheel. This will allow you to feel when the car is sliding or understeering, and vibrations can allow you to feel the bumpy curbs and collisions. Overall then, a wheel is definitely a huge upgrade over a controller, and in my opinion it is completely worth the investment as long as you're into racing games and have the money. Having said that, you can still race very competitively in most arcade and simcade games on a controller, so don't upgrade just for the competitive advantage. For me, the best thing about having a wheel is how much more fun it can make racing games, and also how much more realistic they become. A wheel also opens up opportunities if you want to try sim racing, however it is still superior to a controller on most games in terms of enjoyment. Anyway, that's everything for this video, if you have enjoyed it or found it useful, then a like or even a sub would be absolutely amazing. But that's all, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.